first and foremost, VSOP tradition for ourselves, that we are, um, that we take a shot, we have a toast. Right, it's only right. Now we are, my, my reason of, of seeking you out, I've been, I've been uh, listening to your music, studying your music for a long time. Okay. Um, you definitely fit the criteria of VSOP. Appreciate that. Uh, VSOP means victorious, supreme, only, only the elite. You feel me? Mm. Only the elite. It, it's the highest of the high. Okay. All right. Appreciate that. So we, we, we view you as a legend, rightfully, rightfully so. Appreciate that. In your own right. You feel me? Appreciate that. In your own right. Much appreciated. Okay. Okay. It's from classy right here. Real trippy. So it's the VSOP? Yes, sir. It's a well for So it's the as well. Timeline. Okay. Straight jacket. Let's do it. But for them, so rightfully, rightfully so, where you from? From the Bronx. Originally from the Bronx? Uh, I was born in Brooklyn, but the Bronx raised me. Facts. Brooklyn made me, the Bronx raised me. Facts. So you've been in the Bronx all your life? Uh, pretty much since I was uh, nine. Since you was nine. What part of the Bronx? South Bronx. South Bronx. 175th, Weeks Avenue. Facts. That's a, uh, that's a core part of South Bronx. Excuse me? It's a core part. Yeah, yeah, South hell Bronx. yeah. It's yeah a lot of history, a lot of tradition, yeah, the culture yeah. is, is vibing the in actual, the South Bronx. Actually, the hip hop started in the South Bronx. Actually, fact. You know what I mean? So, you know. It, and is it a coincidence that you are artists? Nah, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be no coincidence. Your, your parents? Was you raised with both of your parents or? Uh, in the beginning. In the beginning. Then my father uh, started using drugs and left the home when I was young. Uh, nationality? African American. African American. Uh, yep. Both of your parents? Yeah, both of my parents. They originate from where? Uh, from Brooklyn. Oh, okay, so they, they didn't, well, the, the South, well, they, they migrated from the South? Well, or? my grandmother originally came from Greensboro, North Carolina. Right. So it, always, it always resonates in the South. It you know, always resonates in the South. You know what I'm saying? Greensboro, so yeah, by so, way of Greensboro. Okay, so at, at what age did you, uh, did you start writing? Well, my older, and who influenced you? Well, I was about to say against that. My older brother was my big influence. Cop. He he pretty much was uh, rapping and shit around the time. Uh, raw bass, Big Daddy Kane, that era, that 89, 90 era. He's still present? Yeah, he's still present. Salute to him. Yep, so shout out to my brother. So he pretty much was a, uh, he was an MC first, and I used to copy him and watch him battle niggas and shit like that. And uh, I took a liking to the shit. Right. Feel what I'm saying? So, you know, uh... Now, what, what age is this to be exact? Because how old are you, if, you, if, if your mommy asks Yeah, I'm 42. Yeah, I'm 42. Yeah, we the same age. Yeah, oh yeah, I'm 42. So, I, like, around, I was like, not, like, yeah, 10? 10 years old. Okay. Yeah, like 10, 10, 11. So, uh, Kane had the song out, Ain't No Half Stepper. I'm familiar. Yeah, when he, had, when he spelled his name out, the B-I-G-D-A-D-D-Y-K-N-E. Man. Niggas in the hood couldn't say that. At a young age, I could, I could say it. That was like a flex, like, like, oh shit, this young nigga could repeat that. Repeat that. Yeah, so mad niggas used to come, older niggas used to come hear me say that shit, and I used to like the, the intention I got off that shit. I'm like, oh shit, nigga. It wasn't even my rap, but just the fact that I could recite it, niggas liked it, that niggas shit. Liked it, that shit. So that shit gave me an adrenaline rush. So right. from then on, I'm like, oh shit. You had that. I need this. I need yeah. this. I need this energy. Yes. Now yeah. what's your sign? I'm a Taurus. Taurus. Yeah, I'm a Taurus. Oh, my bull. So, okay, so. So we talking ten. So, basic. What was you doing as a as a youngin, so to speak? Uh, on the streets. Or typical what? shit. You know what I'm saying? Typical shit. Typical shit, uh. typical shit. Running around my friends, going to school, smoking weed. Then when I got into high school, and got real, started robbing. You made it to high school. Tenth grade. Tenth, tenth grade. Okay, I I, I never made it. I, I mean, you know, out. it is not even like, like, it's funny, but I never made it to high school. Nah, nah, I, saw right I, so. I dropped out in 10th grade. Facts, right, right. Yeah, but, you know, like, around that time, I started selling crack and robbing niggas and shit like that. Right. So 
Now, uh, age range, you talking about 12, 13? Around 14, Around 13, 14. 14. Okay, copy. Yeah, I, pretty, I, grew, I grew up in a predominantly Spanish neighborhood. Okay. Now, was that, how was that? It was a plus for me because all of them turned into plugs. Wow. <laughs> I can only you feel, imagine. You feel me? Only imagine. It was a plus for me. Like, you know what I mean? I grew up with a lot of, a lot of uh, Spanish brothers. You know what I mean? That's my friends to this day. And, uh, you know, we was, uh, we was all pretty cool in the neighborhood. And as we got older, they grew up, they went into the family business. Yeah. We was in the streets yeah. already. Fact. And it just it made a connection. It made a connection for you. Yep. Okay, so any trouble with the law? Hell yeah, I did two state bids. Two state bids. Yo. So but as a youth though. Yeah, I went to juvenile hall, I went to Spafford. I was in Spafford. How long was you in Spafford for? <clears throat> and what year? This was like what, 92, 91 I was in Spafford? 91, okay. Mm -hmm. For about a year or? For like six months fighting my case. Okay, Kyle. Then I went to Pi as well. From what? From Spafford? From Spafford, yeah, I went to DFY. Okay. Now yeah. which which DFY? Pi S12. Oh, okay, Pi S12. Okay, okay. Yeah, I was you in know, was big. Yeah, I was in Pi S12. Right. Yeah, I was in I was in DFY too. I was in Harlem Valley. <laughs> See, you was in you was in you was in uh, you was in the real joint. Yeah, yeah. I was That's in like that the joint. maximum for the for, yeah, actually, for fact. the for the youth and shit like that. Actually, fact. I, yeah. it, was, it was crazy because when I was building with uh with Poem, because Poem was there, but mm -hmm. Poem slid right before right before I came. I came in uh I came in Born Power at 9 5. Pone, I think Pone and Nori left about Born Coach in 94. That's crazy because Nori was in Pius 12 too. Was he? <laughs> I bet. I bet. Nori I was bet in Pius 12 too. Like, we kind of missed each other as well. Facts. What's up? Cobb. Okay, so, all right, so you didn't really do too long in the youth situation, but you had but you had a run in with the law. Yeah, yeah, I did eight months on the juvenile tip. And then uh, when I got of age, like 21, I did a state bid. I did a one and three. Okay, now look, so any writing music at this time? And are you hell real yet? Nah, in no particular, first bid, uh, yeah, I become hell real. The first bid? Now, what's, what's the time frame? This is 98. I went to. Uh, okay, no, but pre 98, you wasn't hell real. No, nah, pre 98, I wasn't hell real. What was you pre 98? I was uh, Crow. Crow. It was calling me Crow. Okay. C R O. Crow. Crow. Okay, or like Black, Zimmerlands, like that's the situation. Or Jazz. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Copy. Jazz, that was my town, my, uh, my out of town name when I was hustling. Copy. Copy. Uh, the principles from, from your parents, they, your parents Christian? What was that uh, religion? My, my parents was a very uh, religious uh, family. Very religious? As on my mother's side, uh, had the, my, uh, the Muslim faith. Okay. My grandfather was a practicing Muslim. And on my uh, father's side, Baptist church, church going family, grandmother church every Sunday. So. Had the religious and had influence day. from both sides. Right. Okay, cool. So, cause, because your bar pattern, mm -hmm. when you look at your bar pattern, your bar pattern is very, it's vicious. Appreciate that. Like, you always have it, I'm saying, like, and that comes from the spirit. Right. If you, I'm saying, like, when you, when you go into the history of it, uh, the, Gri if, the griots, when you study the griot civilization, the, gri the griot civilization, was a civilization that was based on poetry. Right, I'm familiar with the Greek civilization. Facts. It was a poetic civilization. Correct, correct. Facts. That's amazing. Correct. Absolutely. Yeah, facts. We derive from that. We derive from that. Absolutely. We are, we are natural poets. So when I listen to, to your po poeticness, mm -hmm. you feel me, uh, it captures, it captures me. It captures the, 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 the spirit. There's no question, you know, and not, you know, there's a million MCs. Right, right. Not everybody captures the spirit, Lord. Nah, you're right, absolutely. You feel absolutely. what I'm saying? Okay, absolutely. so, all right, so, you said 98. Yeah, 98. Harrell is brought forth into existence. How, how, how does Harrell come into existence? So bust it, I get the Elmira, right? Mm. <clears throat> um, this is 98. This is 98, okay. I get the Elmira. Uh, the jail is fucking filthy. They put me in my cell. There's mice running around, there's roaches running around, it's fucking horrible. I'm like, damn, what the fuck did I get myself into? I'm like, damn, this is hell, bro. You hey. know what I'm saying? To myself, I'm like, hey. yo, you in fucking hell, bro. And a nigga next door to me is like, yo, 32 cell, what's your name? I just said, yo, hell, bro, man. Mm. From then on, and it just, it was and born then. Stuck from then on. Yeah, niggas just started calling me that, I just ran with it. Okay, so, all right, so 9-8 to what? 
you you you, you ever been to the Allen? You went to the Allen? Yeah, I was on the Allen, 97. In 97. How, yeah. long, how long were you on the Allen for? I was on the Allen for like four months. Four months. Okay, yeah. what, what building? I was on the four building. Okay, copy. At this particular time, the four building was the sentence building. I was fighting my case from the streets. So I had belt out. Oh, okay, copy, Yeah, copy. so when you get sentenced, you go in, you go to the four building. Now, we know. I was on the Allen. Yeah, you go to the four building, when you sentence, and then two to three weeks, you get shipped up to Old Star or Downstate. Fact. Yep. Fact. Okay, copy. All right, so... All right, you was on the island. Mm hmm. I was with all the tough niggas. Facts. All, all the real niggas. Uh, you know, obviously, you know, without question, you know, you know, uh, you remain solid. You yeah. Know? Solid, not solid. <laughs> solid, not solid. Solid, not solid. Solid, right. not solid. They're they they both five letter words that start with an S. I'm the solid one, not the solid one. Actually. But yeah, at this particular time, the. Uh, <clears throat> The blood culture was really, really big in, in, in prison. And uh, still I became, is. I became, yeah, it still is. I became a gang member. You know what I mean? I, I, I turned the gang member and uh, went down the wrong road and was gang banging and shit like that. But Facts. I was getting money though. You know what I'm saying? Like, I always had aspirations. Like, I ain't want to just be no gang member and just be running around and just be shooting shit up, cutting niggas and wilding and just banging it. You wanted to. A had, purpose. Yeah, I want to had, I wanted, had a purpose. Like I want respect. To be, that. Yeah, so at the end of the day, when Hell Rel became my name, that's when I started taking rap serious. I wanted to be a rapper when I came on from that bit. Right. But it didn't work out like that. <laughs> it didn't go quite like that. It didn't quite didn't go like that. Okay. I mean, as as things as things normally do, you know, they don't always go. I'm saying according to plan exactly how right. we uh, how we plan it. But for you, toast, it, toast, fact. Take the shot. Take your shot. Definitely your toast. Toast to greatness. Yes, sir. You feel me? Yes, sir. That shit's smooth. Yeah, very smooth. This is my first time drinking this shit, real talk. Very smooth. I drank that, you know, 1942 fruit joints, but this shit. Uh huh. Now I fuck with that. Facts. I'm with that. Okay, so. 2000, um, I come home. 2000, you come home. And just, just to touch real quick, briefly, um, you know, tribes is a natural thing. Um, it's just a person I'm saying who 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 doesn't know history. I'm saying that that would beg to differ. You feel me? Right. But tribes is a natural thing. When you when you research history, I'm saying we always had tribes. Absolutely. And they vary. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying so. Okay. So 2000. Right. Facts. I come home from jail. Facts. <clears throat> uh, I'm back in the hood. You know, I was uh, I was moving bricks for this guy named Goldfingers. Facts. Did my time. I'm back. I'm fucked up, but I went to you be return, around. You returned to Week Seven to to the Bronx. Yeah, I returned back to Week Seven. Right. I'm back on Week Seven, but my man is getting mad money in New London. You feel what I'm saying? In New London? Yeah, like my childhood friend, he getting mad money in New London, Connecticut, and I was home for like six months, and I was just trying to chill and just stay out of trouble. My mom was on my back and shit like that, so I was kind of make her trying to make her happy. My man kept coming from out of town, icy. Coogee this, iceberg that. I'm like, nah, man. I need it. <laughs> right, of course. You feel me? Of course. So, like, like any real nigga would do. Right. So, you know, he, he took me out of town, and uh, that's, where, uh, that's where I started seeing some real, real, real major money. Right. And at this particular time, I'm still writing, though. Not trying to pursue a deal, but writing. Now, your verse is not on. They, they, they can leak the... They can Put that verse out yet? No, at no, right? in 2000, I didn't meet Cam yet. Yeah. Well, I knew Cam, but I didn't become a yeah, diplomat I didn't think yet. Yeah, so. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, so I went out of town in New London. Right. I started getting money out of there. I caught a dope charge and went on the run. Now, what year is this? That's this is 01. 01. Is Stack, yeah. Stack Bundle's still alive in 01, right? No. Say that again? Is Stack Bundle's alive in 01? When yeah, Stack Bundle's alive? alive? Hell yeah. He's alive in 01, right? Yeah, yeah I thought yeah. so. Yeah, because Big, mm -hmm. Big Mike is from, uh, out, from, uh, from Zip, Connecticut. Yep. From, yeah, yeah, fact. All right, we copy. <laughs> so, <laughs> I go on the run from Connecticut and come back to New York. And uh, I start hanging with my man, Luke Abrazi, on 145th from Broadway. Mm -hmm. And he was the one that pretty much had the diplomat connection. Cam and them used to come fuck with him on the hill and shit like that. And uh, Now, Luke, Luke, solid, solid street nigga, correct? Solid street nigga, that's my man. Shout out to Luke Abrazi, you know what I mean? Salute. He 
They got the gumbo right now. You know what I mean? The gumbo. The gumbo. They got that gumbo. Now look, so Capone came came through with the with the gumbo. Yes, sir. Facts. Yes, so, sir. What you mean? That's, that's son of my boy, uh, Luca Umbrella. It's all family. It's all family. Oh, Shout so out to that's Capone. under Luca Umbrella. Yes, sir. Anything gumbo got got is my brother, uh, Luca. Luca. Yes, sir. Yeah. But he got you know it's all. He, different, I mean, yeah, it's, it's different all chambers. Love. Yeah, it's different course. chambers. Yeah, so it's you know, all love. Trust me. I'll be knowing. But yeah, but Luca. Uh, I need that gumbo. Yeah, we are gonna get that too. Say less. Definitely. Say less. And uh, I'm in New London, Connecticut, and Luca Brazzi comes to. Uh, well, I'm I I leave and come back to the hill. I start chilling with Luca. He like yo chill. I'm gonna get you a deal. Right. I'm gonna introduce you to Cam. I wasn't trying to hear that shit because Luca was like a fast talking. You know what I mean? Like right. he, he just one of them dudes who just you know he just he just talks real spicy. Right. So one day he had called me like yo. I did a freestyle to Cam of any, any, any. I did a freestyle to uh, Cam Ron's beat. Right. Which and, one? Uh, the drink with him and Benny Siegel and Memphis Bleak. Oh, nice. I turned eight to 20, 20 right. to 100, 100 to 1,000, right? In front, in front of, of housing. housing. Yeah, I did a freestyle of that. Right. And uh, Cam, uh, Luke Abrazi played it for Cam. Cam went crazy. And he was like, yo, uh, call that nigga right now. So Luca called me. He was like, yo, I played the joint for Cam. He wants you to come to the hill right now. I'm like, stop playing, Luca. You put Cam on the phone. Cam like, yo, what's up, B? This is Cam Ron, B. I like, the, we, I like the freestyle you did. I want to meet you. So I'm like, what? Get the fuck out of here. Cam Ron? Harlem World Cam Ron? I was bugging. It's like, I never talked to no rap nigga before. So you I'm felt just, your spirit. In that, felt my spirit. Obviously, in that, in that, felt uh, my spirit. That track. You felt my that, spirit. That's in what that I'm track. saying about the, uh, about the, you know, the, you know, not, mm -hmm. you know, the griots and you know the, the poeticness. I'm saying, yeah, absolutely. Felt your spirit in that plus, joint. Plus, it was his beat, so you know, he like, wow, this thing just murdered my that, beat. My beat, okay, yeah. Of course. Yeah, of course. So I went down there to meet him, and you know, he 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 said, nah, stick with me. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna make you a diplomat. And he had me in the studio with him, baseline. Jay Z in there, OG One in there, right. Memphis Bleak in there, Kanye West in there. I'm a street nigga just coming off the streets. Generals in there. Generals in there. Yeah. Big steppers in there. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Right. So this shit is mind blowing to mind me. Mind blowing. Fact. Because now, now, how old are you? I'm 21. 21. I'm now 21. look, just so just real quick, so so upstate, it be different. Mm -hmm. The experience is different for a right. nigga at 21. Right. Now, a nigga may be up top. Mm -hmm. nigga, nigga relates to that. Like, nigga been in several maxes or, or whatever. Mm -hmm. Nigga may be in a drop, maybe. You know. But a nigga, a nigga never experienced that because it's different upstate. And this is pre-social media, too. Fact. Facts. This ain't no Instagram. This ain't, ain't no, no Instagram Twitter. shit. Facts. Like, you had to see it to believe it. You had to see it to believe it. Absolutely. Continue. Facts. So, you know, he, he took me under his wing and shit, but I still had to go on one last run. Cause I'm like I'm around Cam and he got his rock deal. He just signed the rock, the rock, the Rockefeller. Got the rock chain. Got the rock chain. Fact. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Got the Jacob watch. He icy. Fact. Everybody icy. I ain't icy. <laughs> Not yet. I'm fresh out on Bell. You fresh feel out what I'm saying? Bell. <laughs> I'm still in a trap. You feel me? So I said I'm about to go to jail. I said fuck that. Let me go to New London one more time. Take 200 grams up there and try to make something happen. Fact. Put some commissary money to the side of the sun. And uh, I'm in a Red Roof Inn. Okay. I told a story on Instagram. I'm in a Red Roof Inn with my work inside the uh, air conditioner. Luca Brazzi came and knocked on my door. I hear boom, boom, boom. So what the fuck is this? I think it's police. I open the doors. Luca Brazzi full of mink on, five chains on tomorrow. What are you doing? I'm supposed to be out. Cameron's video, old boy video shoot. He was looking for you. I said, what? He asked about me? He said, yeah, you're supposed to be at the video shoot, bro. You're a diplomat now. Why you up here in the red roof and selling crack? You got talent, bro. That man really, really wants you to be a diplomat. Right. I didn't really believe it. I'm like, for real, bro? He like, yeah, you're bugging. Get the fuck out this hotel, man. So I left my man with the work and I left with Luca Brazzi and went back to New York. And I got with Kim the next day and I stuck with him until I had to turn myself in. Mm. Yep. Toast to that. Sir. Okay, so the deal. I'm saying, how does the deal play out with with uh, 
with the diplomats? All right, when so. You, when do you become a diplomat? So, uh, I tell Cam, because he didn't know I had to go to jail. Okay. So now, I tell Now, you have a direct line with Cam. Yeah, I'm with him every day. Okay, copy. I'm with him every day, as opposed, I'm like, I got to go to, this is around January, February of 01. Okay. I turned myself in April. So from January to April, we recorded Diplomat Immunity album in baseline. In baseline. In baseline. I'm going there every day with him. You know what I'm saying? Jay Z in there, Bleak yeah. in there. You know what I mean? Freeway in there. Yeah. You know what I mean? We, I remember we had two CDs from Heat Makers. Yeah. And all the beats that's on the Diplomat Immunity is on them beats. It's on, it's on them CDs. Okay, so, now quick cool question, right? So right. the vision, though, right? So who. Who, dicks, who dictates the vision? As far as? As far as like, like when you're in the studio. Like it has to be like, like who, it has to be some type of blueprint. It's Cam. So Cam is, 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 is verbally saying what? He's verbally. I want the track like this. I want y'all to say this. I want this. I want, how He's does it go? He's verbally saying, I'm signing Rockefeller, but we're diplomats. Okay. We're not going to come in here and dick suck these Rockefeller niggas. We're going to come in here and knock these songs out and get hot, and we're going to take this shit to our next level. Facts. And Cam used to come in the studio, and we go straight to the studio. He'll say what's up to Jay and them, but he'll go straight to the studio. Facts. Now, as far as Cam leadership, nobody never questioned his leadership, right? Nah, because I'm, I'm, you got to realize I'm a fly on the wall at this time as opposed to being an artist at the same time, too. I'm watching this shit. I'm like, wow. Facts. You but I'm me? saying in general, in general, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Nobody questions the leadership. Hell no. Be hell no. Yeah, hell Cam, no. Is, Cam, is, Cam is leading the fucking uh, he ship. The, yeah, he's leading the shit. He's just yeah. signed a Rockefeller. It's lit. You and know what I mean? This is what I be telling niggas. You feel me? But, but niggas can't understand because, because we don't have the example. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. feel me? Right. Yeah, we don't we don't have the example. We don't have the proper example. Exactly. You feel me? Nah, what Cam, Cam was a good leader. I ain't gonna front. He was a good leader. Yeah. He, he took us in the office. Everything that he was doing, like as far as he he pretty much made his deal an open book. Right. Like, yo, look, this is what I signed for. This is how I'm doing it. You don't wait for the label to get your record hot. You take it to the radio station yourself. You work the record on your own. You don't wait for the labels to work it. So he was pretty much a teacher. And a, he was a CEO and an artist at the same time with me, hands on with me. Like he taught me the game as opposed to not just just giving me a deal. He taught, he schooled me in the game. Right. I ain't gonna lie, not and, like uh, and that's priceless. That's priceless. That's VSOP shit. That's VSOP shit. I can't front. That's, that's, that's priceless. That's higher echelon shit. That's like a lot of shit. a lot of CEOs and, don't do that. You, yeah, you know why. And not just that, because niggas don't do that. Period. You know, like, I mean, it, obviously, it's certain niggas that do that. Mm -hmm. But on the streets, niggas don't do that. You feel me? Now, I'm going to tell you where it got real at. I told Cam, yo, I got to go turn myself in. Because I do have to go do a bit. Right. I thought he was going to curve me. I wasn't. We like seven, eight songs in. Right. So I'm like, damn, I was scared to tell him. So when I told him, I'm like, he like, yo, don't worry about that shit, B. Go do that little year, two years. When you come home. I got you. I got you. Yeah. I'm like, what? So if you listening to to a song, by the time this shit touched the streets, yeah, of course. Let he me, told me I was up top listening to that. He shit. He told me write it. Hold on, what year was that shit? This was O two. He told me write it like I was locked up already. That's why I said by the time this shit touched oh, the streets, copy. I'd probably be shackled up on a bus with beats. Right. But I'm a ride anyway. Yeah, Get yeah. high anyway. anyway. Let my VVS juice blind your eyes anyway. anyway. Now look, hold up. Do you know that? You know that, I know you know this. What's that? That, like niggas, niggas live by that shit, nigga. Nah, I know, yeah. I know, yeah. I know. Yeah, it's know. niggas that, it's solid niggas. So look, so so this is what this shit about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's for, it's for the solid niggas. Yeah. Definitely for the solid niggas. Yeah. The steppers, yeah. definitely. The steppers, I can kill that spot. I can kill that, you know, respect nine and five. I respect them. <coughs> we all yeah. do. Yes, sir. Kill, yeah, kill us about. Yeah, kill us about them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm talking, I'm talking about solid niggas. Right. They live by that shit, Absolutely. my nigga. Because yeah, when I heard the verse, I'm like, he talking to me. Absolutely. You feel me? I was talking to every street nigga that you was going through it. Yeah. Facts. Every street nigga worldwide. So you know why I say, look, I said, look, I gotta reach out to this nigga, right? 
and mm-hmm. just see if he if he's me. If you understand what I'm saying. Man, I'm you all day, man. I know, likewise. I'm you all day, man. Likewise. I'm you all day, likewise. brother. Likewise. And let's take a shot to that. Yeah. Fact. You feel me? I, 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 I've been through the trenches, man. And, and nah, that's why real niggas relate to me. Like, that's why I'm so much of a relatable artist. Like, when I meet niggas, a nigga feel like he just, like, he knew me 20 years. Facts. And he just met me. Because that's how it be when you. When but that's you when you solid. Nigga. That's when you solid. Facts. When you solid, you can meet a nigga and be like, damn, man, I knew this nigga. I yeah. feel like I knew this nigga for 20 years, right? Yeah. Here? Facts. And you just met him today because that's the type of vibe you give that's off. That's the vibe you give off. Yes. But that just comes from being a real nigga. No, all day. All day. But uh, yeah, to Well for Health, VSOP shit. VSOP. All uh, right. So, long story short, short story shorter. Right. I come home at 04. Can't pick me up from Clinton Correctional Facility. It's and what? Like, excuse me? What'd he pick you up, man? He, me up, he picked me up in a, uh, a stretch. A stretch, uh... Limo or some shit? Some stress limo type okay. shit, yeah. It was 04. Some stress limo shit. Bunch of uh bunch of bottles, bunch of rock wear clothes, bunch of uh bunch of liquor, bunch of money. What that scissor shit? <laughs> oh yeah, the scissor, yeah, but he had uh shit. I forgot, it was just vodka, so was all that shit is champagne, real. rose, all type of all shit. All that shit was real, cause cause you know niggas be thinking. I'm not one of them, but niggas be thinking that shit be the Matrix. Nah, he, nah, it was right. It was, it was all right. good. Nah, he came and got me right, though. I came from, bro. Like, this... On record, I'm j- not one of them. I'm not one of them. Now, Fact. this is a multi-millionaire driving no, up eight hours to come pick a nigga up from Facts. jail. And I'm not his artist on paperwork. Facts. I'm not signed to him. I'm not signed to him. I understand, my nigga. Trust you understand me. what I'm saying? No, I understand. Because cause niggas that get money understand. So trust me, my nigga. I understand, my nigga. And Cam is is is, is a shrewd businessman. He not gonna fuck with you if he don't feel like he is not gonna be beneficial to him. Not saying that he don't want to help niggas or whatever, but he's not gonna fuck with it if if he don't feel yeah. like it's not gonna win. Like, yeah, of course. And so he gamb- I feel like he gambled on me. Nothing wrong with that? Because it's like I wasn't his artist on paper. Facts. I was his artist in spirit and heart. On, 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 on record, see but I wasn't as artist on paper. Facts. You understand what I'm saying? I get it. So I that was real VSOP shit for him to roll the carpet out for me and, 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 and give you a career. Absolutely. Yeah, facts. That's what it's all about. That, that, that right there in a the nutshell, no homo. And, yo, yeah, you gotta take another shot. Yeah, sure. That's what I'm saying, yeah. Just the fact that the nigga give you a motherfucking career is no difference. It's no difference from my nigga, from a nigga getting the line, from getting the plug. You feel me? And then and then putting one of my and then putting one of, one of my day ones on. You feel me? Like, of course I'm gonna plug you in. You feel me? Right. No, I'm gonna plug you in. So yeah. So so that's G shit. I'm saying so. Okay. So the verse. I'm saying okay. So okay, you do the verse. I'm saying. Um, then after that, you come home. I come home. Yeah, you come home and shit, I'm mm-hmm. saying. Then, so, what, what, what happens after you come home and shit? Because you do a little bit of business and then, like, because I don't, like, now look, hold up, G's, just real quick, Lord, right? I don't know from, from my perspective, and it's a lot of other people's perspective who I'm speaking for, okay. right? Who, okay. who don't really know the truth. Okay. Right? You know what I'm saying? And I'm not even, like, you know what I'm saying? As far as, like, Whatever happened or whatever. And I'm not even like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not on that gossip shit, God. Like, like, like you feel me? I'm not right, even like. Right, 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 right. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know. Because I don't, it ain't like I know you. Talk pro- to me. Streets want to know. Facts. Streets want to know as far as what happened. When I forget him on jail? Facts. Like, I acted because cause you, you was in as far as with the. I mean, shit was different. Like, Jewels wasn't really a star when I went to jail. And Jim wasn't a star. When I came to jail, these niggas were stars. Stars, yeah. They cars, they had jewelry, they got houses. Right. And right is at square one. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So I was kind of jealous. They, Not jealous, but like, I was like, damn. I didn't, you know. You felt like? My name was bigger than what I, I, I pretty much felt where I should have been at. But it was still lit, though. It was lit. I, ain't I know. Lie. It was lit. Yeah, I know. Cause it, it was ain't... lit. I, I wouldn't change it for the world. 
I know you wouldn't. Because you got to realize, when I went to jail, I went, when I'm in jail, and niggas is coming up to me singing my songs that don't know how I look. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yo, I'm like, good. yo, who's hot out there right now? Like, yo, that Diplomat shit is hot right now. I'm like, oh, yeah, word? Yeah, I still bump it. Certain songs. I'm like, who you like from the Diplomats? Yo, the Hell Row, nigga. I'm like, I'm nice. Hell Row. Like, get the fuck out of here. I'm like, yeah, I'm Hell Row. I had this Hell Row tattoo. I ain't had a Diplomat tattoo yet. I had the Hell Row. I'm like, look, Hell Row. Like, oh, it is you. Remember, pre-social media, there's yeah. no there's no pictures there's of no me. Pictures of you. So niggas didn't really know how I look it's at just when that I was like, verse and shit. Yeah, yeah, it was just yeah. that verse in the song. Yeah, yeah, cause, cause cause I never knew. I knew after a while because I'm just I'm a hip hop historian. Right, right. So right. yeah, and there's a lot of hip hop. There's a lot of hip hop historians out there. That right. I'm saying, but at the same time, but you know. that at a particular time, like I said, no social media. Right. So it was a if you know, you know era, right. and everybody knew because. That was the only way to them find out. Facts. You know, so, you know. Yeah, facts. It was a historical time. Yeah. Man. So it's pros and cons to it. And I definitely get it. I'm saying I Absolutely. definitely get it. So the so the business end of it. Talk to me. It, did you ever capitalize or Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> I mean a lot of money. I got a lot of money stole from me. You know what I'm saying? Like do you, do you care to speak on it or? Yeah, absolutely. Copy. So 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 how does it go? That's why I was like. I mean, I don't care, you know, I don't care precisely, you know, how much money you ever made, but as far as, I'm just, but the business side of it, how does it go? That's what I'm concerned, that's what I'm, I'm curious about, excuse me. I mean, well, it's it's really a matrix, man. It's a lot going on. It's, it's a lot. That's why yeah, I'm curious. It's, it's a lot going on with it, you know? Like, when you're doing an independent deal, see, like, my deal was pretty much uh, independent deal. I got 200000 up front and $5. I get $5 off for every record. Every record. You know what I mean? Because so, you streaming, because if you punch No, 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 this is pre-streaming. I'm talking about 2007 when yeah, I signed my deal. Yeah, streaming yeah, fact. My first album deal. Fact. Streaming didn't exist. It didn't exist. No, nah, there was no streaming. This was, we talking about CDs. No, fact. Yeah, when my first album came out, we had CDs. This is hard copies and shit like that. You feel what I'm saying? Fact. Right, so we talking about $5 off a CD. Fact. That's real good money. Yeah, no, is it? Yeah, so, you know, I came from that, and I ate, but I, at the same time, I still got money stole from me because, now let me break it down to you like this. With those record companies, you would do a deal with a record company, but you would only do it, you, you would do, you, you would only do it, it's, they play tricky with the territorials, so you would sign a deal for United States rights. And they will only report record sales from the United States. So they'll tell you you didn't recoup the United States, but you went fucking gold in Germany. Mm -hmm. They ain't adding up. You know what I'm saying? Facts. But if you don't got the tools and the resources to, 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 to find out what you've sold in those countries, then you're not privy to that information and they can just tell you anything. Mm. So they have artists talking about they ain't recoup, but meanwhile, these niggas done sold millions of records overseas. And I became a victim of that. Uh. You understand what I'm saying? And that was, you know, who? That uh, was what? what Baby Duke? Grand. I'm familiar with Baby Grand, but that was Duke. Baby to what? Grand. No, Baby Grand. Chuck Wilson, you cocksucker. He stole millions of dollars from me, and I acquired it back. Simple. See, when you're young and you're coming in the game and you don't really understand, you just want to. Get the upfront money. Of course. You know what I'm saying? You just want that half coming million, from, that million up front. Coming from out of the, co the conditions that we come out of. Absolutely. And, that, and that's what I'm saying. So you want to stand clear what I mean as far as the reason that we acknowledge you as being a legend, my lord. Mm -hmm. Because number one, you're still breathing, still here. Appreciate still that. Still healthy, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And and you you came up out of the By poverty. The grace of God. You know what I'm saying? Uh you came up out of poverty. It was, it was hard, my G. There's, but look, there's, I know, <laughs> but look, design poverty, my nigga. Designed poverty. Yeah. So, like so that's, why, that. that's why we salute you. That's why you know what I'm saying we consider you VSOP because you're, you're, you're one of the individuals, I'm saying, you know, there's different levels, I'm saying. You're one of the individuals that, that came up out of the design situation. Absolutely. Yeah, so, so in my book, I'm saying, in our book, excuse me, 
you're a legend, a living legend. Appreciate Facts, that. you know what I'm saying? Because a lot don't make it, a lot die. You know, it's all kind of shit. You know how it go? I mean, and coming from my neighborhood, man, like, yeah, keep it real with exactly. you. Like, if you Speak YouTube my neighborhood, like, you Google my neighborhood. I'm familiar with your neighborhood. I, like, we done had three federal indictments. Yeah, I'm familiar. I done lost all my, my childhood friends is dead in the feds right. or still in the trap. Right. And this is real rap. Like, right. this ain't no telling no lies. This ain't trying to look good for the camera. Like, nah, we that's the statistics. Trust me, I know. My, real, my friends are either dead in the feds or selling bricks, and I can't hang out with them because that's not my lifestyle. Right. Trust me, I relate. I could relate. Yeah. Not not to, you know, in totality, but, but I could relate. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like it's friends that I want to hang out with, but I don't know if the feds investigating you, nigga. You just came home. You just bought a Maybach and got three, four, five chains and a Rolex and you moving hot. Like, I love you, nigga, but I got a career. So, like, I'm right. still caught in between two worlds. Right. And a lot of niggas don't understand that. Yeah, and it's... And, and I can only, I know it's hard to jump. Yeah, it's hard because yeah. I got friends that's really trapping. That's really trapping, yeah. I can't hang with these niggas because I don't want to be on a federal indictment. Facts. And they understand it. And they understand yeah, it. Yeah, they understand it. As they it. should. As, As they, they should. should. Facts. Facts. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. we know how to co communicate. It can't be on some large scale. We in pitches and hang out. Like, we know how to contact each other, but, Facts. like, I'm really haunted by my old lifestyle. Facts. You feel what I'm saying? Like, one slip, I can still go to the feds. Like, this shit ain't no... Like, I made it out, but I still got friends that's in. Right. So, the wrong decisions can get me jammed up, and I don't make those wrong decisions. Facts. Facts. Now, current projects? Yes, I am currently about Talk to put to out me. Golden Triangle 3. Golden Triangle 3. It completes the trilogy of Golden Triangle sequel. I mean, the whole trilogy. One part one and part two I put out. Under Ruger Music ENT independently. Cobbling. 100%? 100% independent. Five. So, you know. Now, this shows to who? Baby, boy, baby. Distro Kid. This show, five. This show, Kid. Five. Now, question. Yep. Empire. So, Empire is like, Empire is independent, but, but what? It's independent. It's like independent major? Pretty much. Pretty much, right? Yeah, it's yeah, independent yeah, yeah, major. Yeah, yeah. They pretty much do all the Figured footwork that. and stuff like that, that, uh, that, like, you. They take a percentage out of doing the footwork that I feel that if you're not lazy or if you want to do the due diligence, you could do your own, which I do. But their, their empire is a pretty much a uh, good setup. I like what Ghazi and them got going on over yeah, there. Yeah, Ghazi, fact. Ghazi's definitely got a, Ghazi. Good, he got a good system over there. Ghazi, Ghazi. I need you. Yup, and uh, he, uh, he pretty much, he's tapped, in, he's tapped in with all the... Uh, a lot of South niggas. A lot of South niggas and pretty much all the playlists that... You know what I mean? It's like an algorithm system, man. Yeah, like, nah, I'm familiar. Like, like Empire really got it down pack over there, and they know Facts. what they're doing. But I like like my company, like what we got going on at Ruger Music and T. Like we independent. Facts. We know how to. One hundred percent. Yeah, and and, and yep. I'm with that. Don't get it, you know. Right. Don't get me confused. I'm just like nah, Empire. No, I just you know the doff because no, you know, no, there's gonna roll with Empire. Yeah, I fuck no, with Empire. Yeah, no, no, I'm not saying it I is. I love Ghazi. Like yeah, I would I'm do business with Ghazi and them. Yeah, fact. Yeah, it's not like I wouldn't do business with Ghazi, but my company is fully equipped to do the same thing that Ghazi does. Fact. So like it's just like we we could do the same thing in house. Yes. And that's so, why you know that's why you know that's why you here. Yeah, you, you know because we, we're gonna you know we're gonna build further. Absolutely. You know so, like, you yeah. know, I, I could pretty much do the same thing. So, Ruger Music ENT, we put out Golden Music, uh, Golden Triangle 1 and 2, and we're currently about to put out part 3. Part 3, fast. And uh, I got a, a film company called Hell's Vision. Copy. And we're about to put out my uh, my life story called uh, Welcome to Hell and Back. Welcome to Hell and Back. So, uh, uh, we should be on uh, digital streaming platforms, Hulu, uh, around June, July. Yeah, so we working. We working. Yeah. Yes, sir. You already know. Appreciate you. That's a whole yeah, likewise. Yeah, okay, cool. What I'm saying so yeah, so it's like, oh, all right. So Jim Jones, I'm saying. So you you still have a relationship with Jim Jones? <laughs> with, 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 <laughs> with all of every them? member. Or every member. Okay, cool, 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 cool. All those my brothers. Cool, cool. <laughs> all those my brothers. As it should be. You gotta realize the type of relationship we got. <coughs> We're really brothers. We all share the same tattoo. Facts. Now I be knowing. I see it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I should. Sure. So whether we on stage, we not on yeah. stage together, or we not yeah. on the pictures together, yeah. 
That we don't still, mean that we, yeah. we're not in communication with each other. Like, Joel's mother's my mother. Jim's mother's my mother. Cam's mother's my mother. I know right. they're mothers. They knew my mother, God bless the dead. Like, these are my brothers. Right. We might not do business together, but still my brothers. Still a bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll be family. Going. I know how it go. What you said, Jim Jones, talk about it. <laughs> you had something particular you want to say about Jim Jones? Nah, nah, I see. I, His name out there? What? Talk to me. It's I, my brother. I fucks with Jim. I'm going to keep it 100. I fucks with Jim. It's my brother. Yeah, no, I fucks with Jim Reason. I always did, I'm saying, because of them saying the content. You know what I'm saying? And like I told Trav, you got to understand. You know what I mean? I'm from up, you know, I'm from Spring Valley, New York. Right. Upstate New York, I'm saying, so... We, I don't look at them saying like, when I look at the music, I'm saying I'm not like biased towards the borough music. Some people do be though. That's one thing I realized when, when I was up top, when I was in Harlem Valley, I noticed actually, I'm saying, I noticed that like, you know, it was like boroughs, you know, like Brooklyn, obviously, mm-hmm. you know, Everybody Brooklyn nigga. Yeah, you know that you know how shit it go. go. Yeah, East, East Borough fuck with they. Fuck with whatever nigga that rose up out of the kingdom from where they from. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, but but being that, you know, I'm from upstate New York, um, um, I was never like biased towards right. the borough. Okay. Just good music. So, good you know, music. Jim Jones, you know, the music I'm saying was gangster, my nigga. Shout out to the bro capo. Facts. The music was definitely gangster. And I always fuck with, I'm gonna keep it 100, I, I always fuck with the, uh, always fuck with Jim as far as like, I, you know, now, you know, anything other than that, you know what I'm saying? I, you know, I don't, I don't know as far as I'm saying personally how a person lives, I'm saying if they live exactly how they're projecting their image and their music. Nah, Jim, Jim is a trendsetter, he's an icon. De- yeah, definitely, definitely. Put but on, it's a point I'm making because, you know, like I said, with this business, you know, you shoot niggas, I'm gonna keep it 100, and I got to. You shoot niggas bread, and you just, you, pr- you kind of pray and hope that a nigga remain solid. Right. Right. Yeah, right. like th- like you know, look, you know, look at it from, no, I got from you. Yeah, from our perspective, you know what I'm saying? Cuz there's a lot of me's out there, you know what I'm right, saying? Like right, that, right. that 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 shoot the pr- you know what I'm saying? No, I got you. Yeah, and, and just like, okay, I hope this nigga add up to everything he's saying in his music, you know what I'm saying? Right, got yeah, you. Yeah, facts. So got it's you. like, and like Capone said, Capone said, you know who you who you aim and shoot for. I said, "Yeah, you right, my nigga." Never and then lie. You, know, you see, but then sometimes niggas, you know, niggas be spinning the block on you, man. But that's neither here nor there, though. You know what I'm saying? I mean, sometimes it's, it's, niggas it's, it's, spin the block it's, on you. It's, 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 uh, it's a funny industry, man. You know how this shit go, man. Excuse me. Now, whole fact. Now, before you know, before we conclude, is we definitely gotta take a shot. Definitely gotta take a toast. Okay. You feel me? Not a problem. You know, let's do it. I want you. Do this real quick. PSOP shit. Appreciate you for having me, too, yeah, though. No, it's, it's, we're honored to have you in our presence. And I'm serious, my nigga, because you, you know, you a solidified street nigga. You know what I mean? Today's Supreme Mathematics is born. born yes, sir. In, it's the ninth. You yes, feel sir. Me? Born means to be complete, right? R.I.P. B.I.G. We lost B.I.G. on R-I-P, this day. B.I.G. Now look, so look. We lost B.I.G. on this day. You know right. what I'm saying? So we definitely got to, uh, we got to salute. We got to salute the Notorious B.I.G. So look, I'm like, I'm like, yo, I hope, I hope, I hope the Lord pull up. Right. Because in all reality, I don't know, I don't know if you're going to pull up or not, but this is what I'm saying. Then I'm like, I'm like, yeah, rest in peace, big. I popped the bottle this morning. One of my favorite artists, man. Likewise, likewise. So I'm like, yo, I'm like, yeah, today's Supreme Mathematics is being born. And first and, f- and definitely salute, I'm saying, to the nation, and peace to the nation of gods and earth. Peace to the gods. Yeah, definitely peace to the nation of gods and earth, I'm saying. All praise is due to the Father <coughs> in conjunction with old man justice, in conjunction with the first non born facts for laying a foundation, right. in conjunction with the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, peace. So I'm like, yo, I'm like, if, if he pull up, and, you know what I'm saying? And I knew you was going to pull up, but it's always the other end. You it's always me? the other end. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. And I'm just being honest with you. You right. know what I'm saying? So I'm like, yo, 
if he pull up, I'm saying like, it's gonna be iconic. It's gonna be history, man. I'm saying, it, and, and I wasn't even like thinking about big until like you know I seen like certain things. Social, I said, oh shit, yeah, March 9th, said, historical. Yeah, yeah, salute. I'm sick because I'm my vision is my vision is my optic. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, like yes, I'm, I only see what I'm doing. You feel me? Television. But, yeah, facts. So when I looked up, I said, oh shit, it just happens to be that. You know what I mean? So I said, I know he coming. You feel me? Of course. Yeah. So born, I'm saying, born means to be complete. It means to be solid, solidified. You feel me? Yep. And that's today's supreme mathematics. And that's how I'm showing proof in today's supreme, math supreme mathematics for sure. Mm. Facts, deep, I'm saying. Deep, deep. That's yeah. heavy. That's heavy. That's heavy, God. I fuck with that. Yeah, man. So this will... This is what we doing here, though. How long you had knowledge yourself? Since, uh, since 15, since knowledge pop. I, I went to uh, Harlem Valley when I was uh, 15. Okay. So I did, I did a jukes out here, actually, with, with, with me and two other individuals, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? We ended up uh, robbing a, uh, you know, just years ago, robbing a gas station, robbing a couple, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yo, so check it. It's crazy. So, right. okay. So, big. No, no. Big is not. Wu Tang is out here this night. Actually, it wasn't big. Wu Tang. Uh, yeah, Wu Tang was uh, at the spot called the Rage. Okay. So, I remember the Rage. You remember? Okay. You copy. remember the Rage? Remember the Rage? Yeah, I remember the Rage. Copy. Yeah. We gonna take two shots by the back. Okay. So look. Okay. Yeah. Real quick. Copy. Wow. So you remember Rage? I remember the Rage. Copy. Okay, so look. I was outside. He was outside. Yeah, likewise. So. Okay. I'm, I'm 13, 14, right? So. Mm -hmm. We go, uh, we go rob a gas station to, to get the bread to go to the concert for, uh, for Wu Tang was there that night. Oh, shit. Sure. Bob Beat was there that night. Y'all rob the guy shit and get the money to go to the concert. To go to the joint. Okay. So, and it was crazy because it was me. That's some real shit. That's hip hop for real. Yeah. <laughs> it was me and two other niggas too. You feel me? But you know, me and two other niggas. So salute to Arnold and salute to, and salute to the other nigga who who was from the Bronx that was with us that night. They was salute both from the Bronx. They was both from the P Long. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Uh. And Arnold was 212 now, actually locked in, um, in, in, in Baltimore. But, but rightfully so, so, he should be coming home soon. He, he okay. went to Baltimore like about 20 years ago okay. and did something. Uh, uh, Arnold, you know, he, 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 uh, he with the tribe, too. he only to them. You know what I'm he got like about 20 plus in, free Arnold. He should be coming home soon. Free Arnold. Yeah, fact. So he was with me that night, and another nigga from, from P. Long was with me that night. Okay. Do something real long story short, do something, we rob a joint, you know what I'm saying, get mm -hmm. caught. But we um we was going to the joint, we was going to the concert, that was the whole point. And you know, we didn't make the concert, so okay. Oh man. End up, end up getting caught, you know what I'm okay. saying? You, you know, we robbed the gas station, gunpoint. Right. You know what I'm saying? End up getting caught like about maybe like an hour later. They pick us up. And then from there, my journey starts. I, I did power, I did five years in Harlem Valley. Oh, you did so, five years in Harlem Valley? Just about facts. So this, so this is like tail end in a '94. Okay. Right. So '94, I go in. Okay. I go in. Um, I was what fourteen. Okay. I do about almost five, come back, come back just about 20. Damn, grown man. But yeah, grown man. But I get not now, you know, the the uh the, the nation just started as well. You know, both the 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 five the five percent nation been started. Right. 64 is year one of the five percent nation, you know what I'm saying. But when I arrived in Harlem Valley, we talking, this is 94, 95. So non-trade, you know, non-trade, I just, you know. Few years after them saying non trade, you feel me? Absolutely. Facts, but it's it's rampant even in the youth. Yeah, yeah. I now look, I'm from I'm from Spring Valley, so this is different to me. 
Okay. It's different. You know what I'm saying? It's a like, whole different dynamic. Yeah, a whole different dynamic. But it's different to a lot of people too, because it's new. Absolutely. It's only it's only like two, two, you know, it's roughly a year, two years in. Got you. But it was there though. You know what I'm saying? But I was, you know what I mean? I was raised by some strong five percenters, man. Right, you know right, what I'm saying? Right, right. Some yeah. good brothers. Yeah, some strong niggas. I'm saying so like, you know what I mean? Harlem Valley was a good test for me, you know what I'm saying? But you know what I mean? And yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I got that shit there. And like, I had a choice as far as with both. Got you. Yeah. And I, you know, I chose, I'm saying, you know, I chose the, uh, the nation. But, you know, to each your own. Absolutely. To each your own, I'm saying. You know, I chose the nation and then, you know, I went from there, man. But I've been studying it ever Good since. Good choice, though. Good choice, though. Having knowledge of self, man, you know. Yeah, it definitely you. improve your life and, uh, you know, have you on the right track if you are. Uh, Definitely know what you're doing, you know what I'm saying? If you know what you're doing, yeah, facts. <clears throat> if you apply, yeah, that's if you apply, yep. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So it was like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So I got it, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> and then I, I had it, I never, I never let go of it. Gotcha. So, 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 so I remember another time I get caught in a situation where, where uh, they thought they had me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So to speak. So like. Who, the Jakes? The 12? Five. Okay. You feel me? Uh-huh. Thought they had me. They so had like, you? yeah, but it was a serious situation. Oh, okay. Wow. Thought I was gonna fold, you feel me? Right. So like they thought I was gonna pray to Jesus or something, you feel me? <laughs> now I'm saying Yeah. Now nah, I'm serious though. I'm serious <laughs> though, right? Like, yeah, now I'm understanding that. Now I'm understanding that. Yeah, I ain't praying to no Jesus, nigga. No cipher. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I am the Messiah, nigga. Like absolutely. Yeah, facts. We are so, the gods. Facts. So, <clears throat> so with that being said, that was a test. That was a test right there. You know what I'm saying? Because you go through different tests. Right. right. Yeah, yeah. So. We gonna take this last shot, and we are gonna conclude it. <laughs> yes, sir. Skid. Yes, sir. Skid. Let's do it. Yeah. Thank you for having me, though, man. Good night, nice platform. I like what you got going on. It looks beautiful. Yes. Appreciate it. Thank, I see. You. Thank you for having me. Yeah, I appreciate you 100%. Beautiful. Look at this, man. This, this water is fishing. Health is wealth. Health is wealth. Yeah. Okay, God. Bow. Peace. Peace. Thank you.